Hello, I'm Adam Van Swordman, and today we're going to show how we attached our furring strips for our major attachments using the plus nuts or rib nuts and the Astro 1450. We put the rib nuts behind the and sunk these bolts straight through to the rib nuts, which will allow us to have a secure and um, sturdy foundation with which to place our rail lines, our airline rails, which we can build just about anything, including cabinets or a bed or attach, let's say, a couch or a kitchen. Hello. Today we're working on plus nuts using the Astro 1450. We're going to insert pre-bolt plus nuts. Rib nuts are another brand you see. And these are pre-bolt threaded holes that we're going to use to attach threaded bolts into the sheet metal of our van. We have used as many of the holes who were already drilled as possible, but a few places where they didn't quite line up, we used a drill to go into the metal of the van. So I'm going to give a demonstration here. Once you have your hole, you can thread on your plus nut all the way to the end. Place it where desired. I'm going to try to use the bottom of this hole. Now this is the part where it takes a little bit more leverage at the start and then it starts to go. So then you press, open it back up, use this little knob to go in all the way. I'm gonna give it another squeeze all the way in. Now this should be pretty well bulbed out at this point. I'm just gonna double check it by doing a little extra squeeze here. And that should be good. Then you can manually do this or you can use a drill, which is a little bit quicker. And then we have our plus nut. common problem that people have different solutions for is how, after you've set your rib nuts, how do you know where to drill into your wood? Now some people use exploratory drills, but that seems to be a messy solution. I've seen some people cut out a paper um, guide, which also could work very well. However, we came up with the idea of using these little magnets, which I already had, in order to make a punch so that and you put it on here and we can punch against it using a hammer. So you can see here, we've created a guideline and then we used the hammer on the other side to punch. To make it a little bit more visible, we added some paint to the little magnets so that as we hit it with the hammer, it's showing up just a little bit better. However, we figured that you could do either one or the other, the paint or the hammer. You may not need to do both. Another method might be to paint a screw if you didn't have these, or perhaps you could even apply the paint directly to the rib nut and then put it over and you'd have a, a, a circle on your wood in order to guide where to drill your hole. We'll show you how it turns out. Hello, you can see here the results of our experiment. We were able to make some marks by painting the rib nuts themselves. However, we weren't really confident that they were all quite lined up because there was a little bit of slide. So we went back over and we used the magnets again. By hitting a hammer, we were able to make these marks. And so we now have kind of two references. This one didn't show up very well, but at least we have a good paint mark there. So between the two, we have a little more confidence on where our holes will go. Our, the opposite side of the hole, because we marked this side, we drilled through and there's countersink so that it lines up nicely. And now we have a very stable and secure bar. It's going through to rib nuts on the other side. And this will be a good platform with which to attach our airline rail or anything else such as the marine strips along the wall. The next step will be to add our airline rail. You can carve to size, perhaps right here with which we can attach cabinets, sinks, beds, whatever we want. 